it has to be a calling. When you put on your uniform, you just never know what the day is going to bring. You see people when they are at their most vulnerable. And it's why you have to be called for us. What people tend to forget is that we, like you, can be vulnerable. And that we too are human. So who are we? And who is? When I was in high school, I would go and help at Red Cross. I was working there as a volunteer. Helping people has been my lifestyle. The reason why I decided to study and become an intermediate life supporter was, as a BAA, I felt that everything that I was doing on scene was limited because every time you would have to call for backup, and actually back in the days it was even worse because we would work as two BAAs in the bus. Calling for backup was irritating me because sometimes they would be far to reach your destination. Then I said, no, 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 instead of me being here, why should I be here? Hence, I can't help further for my patient. Then I decided that, uh-uh, I'm packing my bags, I'm going to school. Through the whole process of being a medic and my growing up background, there were so many things that I was going through. And every time I would write them down, then I decided, you know what, because I'm a motivational speaker, maybe things that I've went through might help a lot of people out there. Then that's when I sat down and took this seriously to say I am writing a book. I became lucky because I was given a platform to motivate women. You know what, there are so many women out there that are going through the same situation that we might not be aware of and they're actually not um, giving gratitude to their worth. It's about time to turn the table from a negative thought to my positive thinking. About time. She's one of our colleagues. She's a motivator. She works three, I think three works at the same time. Paramedic, motivator, presenter, and a single parent also. Every time when she's on A, she's always motivating. She's excellent. My son, I call him my centerpiece. He's very close to my heart. He's very close to my heart. It's an eight-year-old boy. At first, he wasn't understanding that, Mom, why can't you relax? Why can't you stay home every day like other mothers? Because every time when I move, I would go with him. Then one day, I explained to him that, Son, you know, a family whereby there is a, there is a mother and a father is different to a family whereby it's a mother alone because whatever that happens in this house, it's my responsibility. Him being um, at the hospital taught him a lot because he got sick and he stayed in hospital for a year and a half. He was suffering from osteomyelitis. They were telling me that it's an infection of a bone marrow. So like, um, it was difficult for me, especially when they were transferring him from one, spot, one hospital to the other. I was feeling that, you know what, I've been a medic inside the ambulance, it's been fun, I've been treating people, but now it's actually a train smash when you have to treat somebody who is your own flesh and blood. Going out there, I always tell myself that, look, Edith, you are a walking devotion. You are an ultimate gift. Therefore, when you get out there, when you speak to your patients, they must heal. When you touch them, they must feel that you're not just a medic, but you are a proper deal for ER24. She's a woman that is brilliant when it comes to multitasking. And every woman, young woman growing, should definitely look up to her. And I also look up to her. You can actually see that ER24 didn't just employ people who were just bought from the street. It employed people who've got an intensive burning desire. That's what I've picked up with Rustenberg Cruz. When they go on those calls, when they clean their ambulances, when they wear their uniform, you can see that whatever that they are doing, it's something so strong. The medic in me will never die because I am where I am today because of this field. 
it's not all about fame, but it's about the lives that you touch and change at the end of the day. This Who Is episode is part of a new ER24 web series. To see more, subscribe to the ER24 EMS YouTube channel. Like ER24 EMS PTY Limited on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at ER24 EMS. You can also visit our blog. Just search for ER24.info.